Hey folks, how you doing? Um, this is the inside of Peconic Church. I didn't know it was open. It says it was open, but I didn't want to try the door. Beautiful little church. I had to stop because of the music outside, but uh, I'm hoping to carry on in a minute. There's um, beautiful candles burning as well. The pulpit. Carvings on the end of the uh, seats there. I want to see if there's any um, to the glory of God. Memory of Francis Ellington Leslie, Rector of Peconic. Rector of Peconic, from 1916 to 1924. Born 1864, died 1924, R.I.P. Francis Ellington Leslie. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, you can see a beautiful church. I bet this church could tell some stories. Is that the coat of arms there? Whoops. And there's a grave I've just seen here, actually. Yeah, a couple. The coat of arms there worn away. Roland Janus of Thomas. Jen is that Janus? That's Thomas. In, I can't read these very good, folks. You're gonna have to bear with me. No date. Oh, yeah. oh yes, there is. Now that looks like 16 something. The other one could be a two. 16, 1662, 1602. No name. Got Thomas over there, that's about it. Put Roland there. Roland with an E on the end. Roland. Tree I try tryness. I don't know. I can't see. I can see Thomas blank, uh, obvious. Um, what have we got here? See, these have been walked on for years. No, I can't see nothing here. I mean, there's writing on here, but I can't. Looks like it's all in Latin as well. Was buried, possibly. Is that was buried? Don't know, sorry about that. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Here's a year. 
No, I can't. That looks like a five there. Domain. 1618. Blimey, that's early. So there was somebody out here 1618 then. Yeah. Yeah, now somebody's playing music again. In the year of our Lord. 1633. Sorry about the quality of this, folks, but. Uh... Oh, well, I can't see no more. That was a bit of an in interesting find there. Yeah, gravestone as well. Mm, yep, it is. Coat of arms, here we go. I walked right over that as well. Here lie the bodies of what does that say? Renillo Hawkin of Trugorgo, Trubor, Truborgo, gent who died the 9th of January, 1652. That's Hawkin, age 70. And of his wife who died in 1861. Martha, that's Martha, isn't it? Is it Martha or Hilda? It's Martha. Martha, his wife, who died. 10th day of June, 1661, aged 80. And of Reynold, Reynold Hawkin, their, their grandson, would that be? Their grand lawn, whatever that is, gent who died the 2nd of July 1661, aged seven years. So it's Martha Reynold and Reynold Jr. by the look of it. Um, what's that say? Elkar, who was buried, and that's it, there's no more. That's a shame. Anyway, I'll carry on outside, folks. So, these older ones back in 1661, 1652, are Hawkins. H A W K E N. So they were here then, gent. Hawkins must have owned this then. Way back in 1620 uh, something. What was that? Hang on a minute. 1652. Right, we'll have a look out around here, out into the brightness again. Let's see if I can get a few more in here, folks. <coughs> right, Thomas Bryant, who changed his life for eternity. Died on the 15th day of April 1813, age 83. And this is his wife. No, it's not. Elizabeth, wife of Walter Bryant, late of Cutter Pit in his parish. 
Elizabeth died in 1814. And also Walter Bryant, husband of the above, departed this life. 10th day of February 1854, aged 83 years. Elizabeth Bryant. Yeah, here we have some uh, Bryants here as well. Elizabeth Bryant, late of Kiligar, departed this life in the 30th day of. How's that? Age 60 years. Thomas Bryant, husband of the above, died in 1837, aged 71 years. I'm just hoping that music will hold off a minute. They're playing a flipping music all the time. Memory of William. William Tom departed this life. In 1776, um, aged 80 years, the stone was erected by Robert Keem of this parish. William Tom. I wonder if his second name was Tom. And look at the little, that's what I like, look at these here, like, little cherubs. I think that's possibly him waiting to go to heaven or whatever. Momento Nori. There's Andrew Bryant here. I think I've done this one a couple of days ago, but I'm not sure. Here lies the body of Andrew Bryant. Departed this life the 23rd day of May. 1785, aged 76 years. Another Thomas Bryant. Thomas Bryant. Buried on the 8th day of September 1793, aged 27 years. Also the memory of Mary, his daughter, who, who was buried 15th day of August. 1798, aged six months. Oh, bless her. I'll try and take a photograph of this, folks. And here we have John, Mary, the daughter of John, and Elizabeth. Vander Slys Vander Sluys who died in 1790 aged one year and six months seven months one year and seven months Right folks, I don't know what the quality of this one's going to be like, but uh, it's a bit on and off, so if you can just bear with me. Here lies the body of... Looks like Bethany, the wife of Andrew Bryant. She died in 17... 1791. Not quite sure of that one. All right, folks. As far as I know, that's most of the Baconic stones done here. Even though there's a few around the back that I, I think I missed out on, but I'm not sure. But the music has put me off a bit, really. So. Always got to keep listening in the background for the damn music. So I'm hoping, I think there's a row of people back here that I never did. And the four excuse here. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, there's more recent ones here. Four skews. Right. Jane, the wife of William Harris. Uh, died in February the 5th, 1900. Age 66 years old. James Godfrey Harris down there. Died aged 44 in 1900. So that's Jane and James Harris. William, husband of the late Jane Harris of Brooks in this parish, died in 1914, aged 84 years. Right, there's a little row here that I didn't do. Um, right. Uh, Sarah Bolter. B O U L T E R. The wife of Charles Lee. Departed this life in 1891, age 63. Unusual name. Jessie Margarita. The only beloved daughter of W and E Knott, who died at Pole Peace in August 1892, aged 24 years, and also of Horace William, brother of the above, who died at Pole Peace in 1893, age 19. And here we have Manuel, third beloved son of William and Elizabeth Knott, K-N-O double T folks, who died at Pole Peace in 1900, age 25 years. How old do they die at that age then? Lots of people in their 20s died. What's the years? Yeah, 1900. Eight to, from 1865 to 1910 was the uh, dreaded disease years. Here we have Anne, beloved wife of Robert Voss. He fell asleep in Jesus in 1897, age 68. Also Robert Voss, husband, husband of the above, who died at Plymouth Lodge, Plymstop, in 1911, age 82. That's Voss. Here we have John and Anne West. Sorry, Amelia. Amelia West, daughter of John and Anne West. Born 1842, died April 18th, April 19th, 1847. Oh, she wasn't very young, very old. No, hold on. Born November 22nd, 1842, departed this life April 19th. 1847, sorry, yeah. Uh, five years old. I'm not very good at maths, but if somebody can remind me. And of Anne, the wife of John West, who departed this life in March 1849, aged 41 years. So that's West. one here I cannot read. Don't even know if I'm looking at the back stone. Uh, Sarah I can see there. Sarah.
1881, 1881, whoever it was, age 25 by the look of it. Here we have Francis Susan, widow of William Henry Heaven M.A., late vicar of Nethro Nethravon, Wiltshire, died 1883, age 52. banner over the world with love right folks that's it I'm afraid for Baconic uh, ah hold on Benjamin Roberts and Catherine Roberts Benjamin Roberts born 1825 died 1891 Catherine Roberts, born 1819, died 1903. Again, a familiar um, Mason Nichols. Somebody's been here to put I drained of pieces on these, so these must be uh, um, right, folks. That's it, I'm afraid. I'll see you on the next one. It shouldn't be too long before I can get it to another one. I've got a few others, um, a few others in mind. Yeah, like I said, um, the music's been playing a bit uh, too much here today. I don't want to get copyright strike. It's bad enough on my other channel, but uh, I'll say goodbye for now, and I'll see you on the next one. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. I want to get my channel and send this one to get more views. So from Baconic House. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.